D-S-L-R Film Noob One thing that's often overlooked is batteries. Batteries are really important for keeping your project running smoothly. One of the things I like to do with my batteries is mark them so I know which ones have been charged. I usually take the batteries and add the cover to them when the batteries have been charged so that I know which batteries are charged and which ones aren't. I remove the cover and when I take it out of the camera I put them in a separate bag so that way I don't grab an uncharged battery slowing down the set. Alright so you've spent a lot of money and you've gotten your gear together and maybe you have some kind of rig like this that's configured with a monitor and all this other kind of stuff you need for your DSLR filming. Well, one thing that's often overlooked is battery access. Do you really want to take something like this apart to get to the battery on your camera? Probably not. One of the most convenient things you can add to your camera to get battery access is something like this battery grip right here. The nice thing about the battery grips are that the batteries are accessed from the side. So you can get to the batteries without having to remove your camera from the rig. These are very handy and it provides longer life for the camera so you don't have to change batteries as much while you're on set. The other kind of cool thing about battery grips is that it makes your camera look super big. Look at this big giant big thing that's big. Wah! On top of that you get two batteries instead of one so you get twice the life of your camera and you don't have to change out batteries as often. I recommend having at least six batteries available for filming especially if you're going to film all day. You can burn through these batteries pretty fast but six gives you enough to at least charge two more while you're using the batteries that aren't uncharged. One other nice thing about battery grips is that it makes your camera larger. If you're a guy like me who has giant hands, then it gives you somewhere for your fingers to go. Otherwise, your hand is left hanging off the camera, especially on smaller models like the T2i, which is about half the size of, say, the 60D or 7D. I don't buy the Canon name brand battery grips, but I do buy from this company right here. Theirs are medium priced and they're well made. If you uh, want to buy something that's even cheaper than that, you can swing over to eBay or Amazon and pick up a $30 or $40 model battery grip. Just remember, these are made cheaply and parts do break off of them. So you get what you pay for. Keep that in mind when you're searching for a battery grip. I'll have links to some of the items that I've shown in this video, like the battery grip and a few of the generic batteries that you can use in your camera in the crotch bar below. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Oh,